Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed your Valentine's Day. I know I did. Okay, if you want to see how I achieved this look, keep watching. Today, I'm wearing a custom made wig made by yours truly. The information about the hair and where I got it from will be left in the description box below. The hair has already been freshly washed, conditioned and straightened as always. Check out my previous video on some of my favourite products. For this tutorial, I'll be using my John Frieda Heat Defense, my amazing Therapy 365 Curling Wand, a paddle brush, edge control, some dot clips, hairband and a hair clip. I have just let down a large section of my hair and tied the rest up in a hairband. To achieve our desired look, we're going to curl the hair in even smaller section. Curling the hair with a wand, I will hold it for 30 seconds, then release. We are just going to let them drop as like they are quite tight so you don't need to pin curl or do anything to them. Like as you can see in my first one, I'm not really really too happy about the curl but I'm going to go over it once more just to make sure that you know I'm happy with the way the curl is looking. So obviously if some of them do not look perfect, just go over them, you know, but don't stress or panic, you know, just gradually do them. It takes a bit of time to get used to, but definitely you will get there. So, yes. Yes. There it is, the curl I was looking for. <laughs> You can see that the curls are more or less the same. That's exactly what we're trying to achieve. Continue this process all over the hair, releasing large section of hair and then splitting them into small section then when curling it. Okay, this hairstyle is really, really quite time consuming. So I rarely do it. But when I do do it, it's like when I'm going out, maybe somewhere very fancy or maybe even going to see the bay, you know, you know, it's sexy, Barbie, like it's beautiful. I love it. I had something very similar in my Valentine's Day wig lookbook, wig and style lookbook. So if you haven't seen it, just make sure you check it out. I will leave the link below. As you can see on here, that the direction in which you're curling the hair does not really matter but I like to alternate between curling forward and going going forward and going backwards as it adds volume to the hair. If you want a similar style with less volume then you should try curling it in one direction. I am very aware that I'm not using a glove this minute but I advise you to use a glove the heat gloves you need them for this wand this wand is pretty very hot okay this is one thing I forgot to tell you guys I feel like the price of this one is a bit steep you know I think it retails for 130 pounds from John Lewis but I feel like you can get a cheaper version of you know a cheaper wand and you can still achieve the same style you know continue curling the hair you know it might get a bit boring so like what I usually do is you know I love trap music you know some afrobeat R&B just keep playing music you know it makes everything go easy and smooth like as you can see me I'm I think halfway through this video I was literally just dancing throughout so just put on some music and let the music take you I'm joking <laughs> So finally, we have the top to do. Yay! Finally. Oh, it's looking really, really cute as you can see. Like, you can see how light and really bouncy the curls are and I haven't even finished yet. This section should be curled going backwards so, so that the top of the hair looks really sleek, flat and neat. Double check if, like, double check any curls that needs redoing. Okay. 
for the two sections by the bottom of your hair. You basically just want to carve it. Roll it in and secure with one of the duck clips I showed you earlier in the video. Once you're done with curling the hair, using a holder spray, spray the hair lightly, very lightly, and just use your fingers and run your hands through your hair very gently. The cow has cooled down. Gently remove the two pins at the top of your head. Blend it in with your hand. And also, using a wide tooth comb, comb through the cowl, just the top of your head. To complete this look, I just touch off my edges with a bit of edge control, ensure that my wig is positioned correctly, and then pose. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll be here again with another hair tutorial. Coming soon. Okay guys, just before I go, just make sure you check out my previous videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter for regular updates and some beautiful pictures. Yay! Mwah. Thank you so much for watching.